you, everybody, for the very welcome, warm welcome. Really appreciate that. Um, all right, let's jump in, because I only have five minutes. This is my first time speaking on uh, Observability Day. Uh, my name is Lin Sang. I come from uh, Cary, North Carolina. Uh, it's a very small town, so in case you guys don't know, I load the map on there. Uh, like he said, I work at Solo. I'm the head of open source at a small company called Solo.io. And before I joined Solo, I worked at IBM. And on my last day at IBM, I took a screenshot of our corporate directory. I actually helped contribute to 207 uh, patents to IBM. I wrote two books about Istio, Istio Explain and Istio Ambient Explain. I'm also a CNCF ambassador, also one of the newest uh, CNCF CNCF TOC member. I want to start to talk about service mesh before we jump into observe the cost of service mesh. So in 2017, uh, the Istio project was launched uh, with the sidecar approach. Well, every single service request would go through the sidecar to be able to provide automatically uh, mutual TLS encryption upgrade, automatically traffic shifting, and, uh, and observability for you. How many of you are familiar with service mesh? Raise your hand. All right, many of you, so no need to explain this. Um, also back then, in 2017, uh, LinkedIn uh, project uh, launched the other notion of service mesh without using sidecar, essentially using a node proxy. Now, um, about a little bit over a year and uh, six months ago, Istio project launched this new thing called uh, Ambient which is uh, the new data play mode without needing to run sidecars. We've noticed there's a lot of users come to us and said, hey, look, the sidecar is really complex to operate. Uh, hey, look, the sidecar is costing us 30% more uh, than what I want to pay for CPU and memory. So we introduced a new mode uh, to allow you to run service mesh without sidecars. And Matt Klein, who is the founder of Envoy, which is the most popular proxy out there, particularly for Saika, he actually agreed with our architecture. Um, so how many of you know what a node agent is, right? In Kubernetes or on VM, so that's just a very common concept, right? It's an agent running on the node. So in Istio Ambient, we introduce a component uh, called Zero Trust Tunnel, uh, which essentially is a node agent. It's a shared for multiple apps on that particular node and can upgrade your connection to mutual TRS, can give your app a cryptographic identity and upgrade the connection. So that's shared per node, which we call it Secure Overlay Tunnel. Uh, how, how many of you know what a gateway is? All right. Uh, it's, a, it's normally used to be able to control traffic into your cluster, for example, Kubernetes Gateway. So in Istio Ambient Mesh, we're bringing the concept of a gateway uh, to inside of your Kubernetes cluster where you would like to maybe apply traffic shifting or traffic routing or maybe some rich layer 7 of, um, authorization policy using uh, the gateway, uh, which is called a waypoint proxy. All right, so what about cost? Uh, we just get to um, something related to observability day. Um, so for this exercise, I'm setting up an environment using the application called uh, Online Boutique App, thanks to Google Cloud. It's a microservice application that has 12 microservices, and it can generate loads automatically. Uh, and then for the exercise, I'm running uh, using CNCF uh, environment. I install Kubernetes, I have C Advisor, I have Calico CNI, I have um, Grafana and Permissus installed. And for the exercise, I'm essentially running into four stages of testing. The first stage is I'm just running the online boutique app without any sidecars. And the second stage is using sidecars. And the third stage is using the node agent, the Zero Trust Tunnel, uh, which is uh, shared among multiple applications on that node. And the fourth stage is what if I need to do some layer seven processing, so I install the waypoint component we discussed earlier. 
So I'm going to review uh, what I did. So essentially, uh, on the Grafana dashboard, I created my customer uh, dashboard and I import that in. So uh, I, I've shown you a snippet of that dashboard, but that uh, is available online uh, for you to download if you want to repeat what I've done. And this is the Grafana dashboard uh, looks like for the four stages we talk about. So what you can see really, really interesting is um, on the right side, um, let's see. I'm not sure if it's the right side on you, but it's the right side for me. It's the memory, and on the left side, it's the CPU. Um, so as you can see throughout the four stages, particularly for memory, because typically when you go use cloud, you tend to pay um, based on memory usage. You can see um, the sidecar is costing about uh, 11 gigabytes of RAM, well, the other stages is costing only about uh, four gigabytes of RAM, uh, somewhere between four to five gigabytes. Uh, so that's a big uh, jump for the second stage, which is using sidecar and costs a lot more. And this is the uh, sidecar and CPU um, uh, memory stacked, as you can see, the big jump also. By the way, this is only showing the three, the three stage because the first stage wasn't in service much, so it doesn't have any sidecar or it's still ambient cost. As you can see, again, the stage uh, for memory, particularly for the sidecar, is costing a whole lot more. Uh, we also did a little bit of analysis uh, with Google Cloud. Um, so basically, Google Cloud has a cloud pricing calculator, and then we run a test with uh, 150 services and pods. And you can see the baseline is the one without service mesh, which pretty much costs the same as ambient uh, without any layer 7 processing. So essentially, you could potentially run Istio ambient uh, without sidecar and get mutual TRS, cryptographic identity, automatic certificate rotation for free with the similar cost. Now, in summary, uh, Ambien introduced a new cycleless uh, data plane mode, so you can run uh, your application in the mesh without dragging the sidecar. And by leveraging Grafana permissions, the node export, and C advisor, we can compile CPU and memory in the dashboard and have a visualization of how the usage goes. Uh, the cost to get mutual TRS uh, with Ambien without changing your application, without restarting your deployment is pretty much free, and the cost to get mutual TRS with some of the layer seven functions is about 18% more for ambient, and if you need to use Saika, it's about 36% more. Uh, so that wraps up my talk. Uh, do I have any time for questions? All right, thank you all so much. <laughs>